Hello friends. Welcome to this video on Heron's formula. In the previous video, we solved some questions based on Heron's formula. In this session, we will solve some more questions based on it. So let's start with this question. A man wants to make a triangular flag. The ratio of whose sides is 5 is to 7 is to 8. And the perimeter of the triangle is 100 cm. How much cloth will go into making of such a flag? In the question, we are given the ratio of the sides of the flag is 5 is to 7 is to 8. In these three sides, one factor will be common. On multiplying with which, we will get the measure of the sides of the flag. Agreed that the common factor is y. Then, the three sides of the triangular flag will be 5y cm, 7y cm and 8y cm respectively. Now we know that the perimeter of the triangle is equal to the sum of the lengths of all its three sides. So the perimeter of the flag is 5y plus 7y plus 8y. But in the question, we are given that the perimeter of the triangle is 100 centimeters. That is, this sum will be equal to 100 and the terms on the right upon addition will become 20y. This way, 20y is equal to 100 and on solving we get y as 5. Upon finding the value of y, we can find the length of all the sides of the flag. So 5y is equal to 5 into 5 which is equal to 25 centimeters. Similarly, 7y is equal to 7 into 5 which is equal to 35 centimeter and 8y is equal to 8 into 5 which is 40 centimeters. Now we know the length of all the sides of the flag. As you can see, this is a scalene triangle and we don't know its height. Therefore, to find the area, we cannot use the formula half into base into height. We will use the Heron's formula here. Suppose A is equal to 25 cm, B is equal to 35 cm and C is equal to 40 cm. Let's find the value of the semi-perimeter first which we will get as 50 centimeters. Now, we will find the value of the terms in the bracket S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Now, we will find the area using Heron's formula. Friends, as you can see, this is a very big figure and we still have to find its square root. In such cases, it's easy to find the square root by writing it in the form of factors. Here, we can write 50 as 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2, 25 as 5 multiplied by 5 and 15 as 5 multiplied by 3 and 10 as 5 multiplied by 2. Now friends, here the number 5 occurs 6 times and the number 2 occurs 2 times. By taking these numbers out of the square root, we will write the number 5 3 times and the number 2 once. And we will write the number 3 within square root. In this way, we will get our answer. Hence, the person will require 250 root 3 square centimeters of cloth to make the flag. Now let's move to the next question. Here, we are given the triangle ABC and the triangle DEC are congruent. Also, in the figure, we know that the length of some of the sides, so along with the areas of triangle ABC and triangle DEC, we need to find the area of the complete figure. Friends, as is given in the question, triangle ABC and triangle DEC are congruent and we know that corresponding parts of corresponding triangles are equal, which means their corresponding sides will be equal. Hence, 
AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EC and AC is equal to DC. So the length of the side AB will be 7 cm and in the triangle DEC, the length of EC will be 5 cm and the length of DC will be 4 cm. Now we will use Heron's formula in the triangle ABC to find its area. Suppose A is equal to 5 cm, B is equal to 4 cm and C is equal to 7 cm. First of all, we will find the semi-perimeter of the triangle ABC which will be 8 cm. Now, we will find the values of S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Here are the values. Now let's put these values in Heron's formula. According to Heron's formula, upon simplification, we get the area of triangle ABC as 4 root 6 square centimeters. Friends, can you now find the area of triangle DEC? Will we again use Heron's formula? No. We know that triangle ABC and triangle DEC are congruent triangles and the areas of congruent triangles are equal. So the area of triangle DEC will also be 4 root 6 square centimeters. Does the answer to this question end here? No. We have to find the area of the complete figure which will be equal to the sum of the areas of triangle ABC and triangle DEC. So the area of this figure will be 8 root 6 square centimeters. Friends, that's all in this session. Today, we solved some questions related to Heron's formula. See you in the next class. Thank you.